The man who helped pave Donald Trump's path to the White House is calling Trump's win divine providence. After losing his job in the White House nearly a year and a half ago, former Trump chief strategist Steve Bannon is now on a new crusade against a pope he blames for failing to crack down hard enough on the church's sexual abuse scandal. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel explored all of this with Bannon for a special on assignment airing this Sunday. Why you? Why is Steve Bannon well, now else, taking because reforming the Vatican, not reforming re- the papacy no, not, as a mission? Not reforming the papacy. Because nobody else has stepped up to do it. His goal is to save the Catholic Church from the Pope, who he says is failing to deal with the biggest crisis facing the Church today. My problem with the Pope today is about this crisis on pedophilia, that they are not treating this as a crisis. They weaponize the sexual abuse crisis to try and undermine his authority, his leadership, and the affection people have for him as Pope. Bannon says he's spending about a million dollars of his own money to lease and restore this 800-year-old monastery. Bannon plans to build an apartment for himself here and live here part of the year in this monastery of Bannonism. He wanted to change America first, now the Pope. And beyond. How big is this campaign? It's pretty big. You know, it has a lot of money and it's worldwide now. Uh, it's, it's kind of shocking. They don't like LGBT people. They don't like uh, people of color. Um, they don't seem to like the poor very much, even though Jesus spent most of his time with them in the gospel. So, and they really don't like Pope Francis. Bannonism. Joining me now, NBC's chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel. Richard, you've done it again. This is incredible. I mean, we knew that Steve Bannon was operating in Europe and a lot of the right wing, uh, you know, anti immigrant policies and parties are being supported by him. But I never knew that he was involved against the Pope. Well, it's all part of the same movement, frankly. So Steve Bannon has been spending a lot of time in Europe. He's trying to energize these authoritarian, generally right-wing, populist, nationalist movements all across the globe. And he sees Pope Francis as an obstacle to that movement. So he's energizing an opposition. This is what he does best. This is the same thing he did uh, for President Trump. He latches on to a a real issue, and the sex abuse scandal in the church is a real issue, and then he takes that and brings together a variety of people who have different grievances against the Pope, and he turns that into a movement. Now, online, people have been saying, why are you doing this? Why are you giving Steve Bannon a, a, a platform? We're not. We're exposing what he is really doing, and he is really leasing for 19 years that enormous monastery on a hilltop in the Italian countryside where he plans to establish a school to teach Judeo-Christian values to a new generation of populist leaders. And again, he sees the Pope as as an opponent to this plan, and he says... This is all part of God's plan, which first revealed itself with the election of President Trump. Uh, Divine providence allowed us to win the 2016, to draw the inside straight that we had to draw in the upper Midwest. That was divine divine, providence. That was divine providence. Absolutely. Do you really believe that? That uh Trump was was, was put in the White House because of divine Divine, intervention? Divine divine providence. Divine providence looked on us and we drew an inside straight. And that's why Donald Trump said no. Do you really believe this? I 100% believe it. He's a very imperfect instrument, but he's an instrument. And he's of God. He's an instrument, yes, of divine providence, yes. So this is Bannon, who himself is Catholic. Uh, This is his new calling, if you will. Uh, He's still involved in political movements, and he sees that uh, trying to revitalize the Judeo-Christian world and apparently advise the Pope is part of God's plan. Uh, Judeo-Christian ethics against uh, poverty, against immigrants, against people who, who are needing of help. Amazing. Thank you so much, Richard, for that introduction to what you can see on assignment with Richard Engel this Sunday at 9 Eastern right here on MSNBC. We'll be right back.